here's one of my potato beds and uh, as you can see it's still pretty green it is September 3rd today and there still would be I guess growing but it's getting late in the season and I need to give my potatoes a chance to harden up the skins so <clears throat> I am going to cut all of these stems off and then let the plants sit for about a week, a week and a half, and then dig them up. Hopefully the weather will, will permit. I'm kind of pushing the rainy season a little bit by uh, waiting this long. I should have cut these last week so I could uh, harvest them next week. That makes sense. Give them about two weeks for the skins to firm up. I've already cut this one back. You can see the potatoes did really good this year. It looked like at least the, the potato tops did really good. And I even collected some of the seeds. And I am going to save these and try to plant them next year and see what happens and i'll put them in their own bed i want to see what what might happen these are pretty small but i would be curious to see if if they actually grow that would be kind of cool if they did actually grow but yeah you can see those plants were still really green and growing but there's another one of the seeds right there. I want to save as many of them as I can. <clears throat> there's another pile of plants that I have already chopped off. Got a couple more piles over here on the other side. So I can, as you can see, they were doing really good still. Still had a lot of green on them. And potentially, if I had a longer growing season, I could have just let them die off on their own. There are some of them that were dying off. But uh, if I wait too long to do this, either one, my, my uh, peels won't get, or the, the uh, potato skins won't get uh, healed up long, thick enough so they'll just go bad in storage or they'll freeze in the ground. And uh, neither of those are, are a good option for me. I want to eat the potatoes, not waste them. Brussels sprouts. The garden didn't do as good as I was hoping this year. They, the Brussels sprouts started off really good and there's a lot of Brussels sprouts growing, but there's not gonna be any time for them to get any size to them. So I don't know if that was a, a nutrition issue with them or the weather just hit the wrong time, but not gonna get very big Brussels sprouts off of them this year. My kale did really good. And it's old enough now and it's big enough that it's bitter. So we stopped eating it and we're just feeding it to the rabbits and the chickens. We're still getting romaine. This is the best I've ever done for carrots. And uh, I dug a few of them up, pulled a few of them up yesterday. I'll pull one here. Whew. Now that's a big one. I'm not going to pull it. I might actually have some. It's a nice one there. I'll pull a smaller one. Let you see. So I didn't thin them as much as I should have. But I kind of let the garden go this year. A little bit more than normal. Just left it by itself. But yeah. 
This is the best I've ever done for carrots. That's a nice little eaten carrot. I don't want to dig too many of them right now because I do want them to get the first frost because that's when they start getting sweet. After you leave them in the ground for that first frost and then you harvest them. So I'm excited for that. The beets look like they're doing really good again. They didn't get thinned, so they're gonna be small beets, but small beets are actually kind of nice because you don't have to cut them up when you're gonna can them, when you're gonna pickle them, or whatever you wanna call it, preserve them for the winter. But those are nice, nice color to the stems. Zucchini, we didn't get a whole lot off of it. Seemed like uh, the uh, rain hit at the wrong time for us. And it's still wanting to grow some. We're still getting some, but. Kara harvested. A few. There's one that's trying to grow. Hopefully it'll turn out just fine. But, you know, it just seems like we end up getting a lot of this, too, this year. Whew. There's one that we missed. Right there. Oh, my goodness. That's a big one that we missed. But, yeah, like I said, we... We didn't pay a whole lot of attention to this. I'm still struggling with my health. And so the garden just kind of fell back. Uh, other things became more important. Nope, didn't get to the chicken coop again this year. Uh, I got to get, I got to get my health figured out first and then uh, go from there holy cow there's another one i just see now that we missed it's huge that's a nice one i'm gonna have to go get kara and and uh see what she wants to do with that one that's a nice one I might end up having zucchini bread in the next couple of days but anyway we did really good with our salad greens radishes they went to seed, they bolted, and we just let them go. The, this is supposed to be pumpkins, but they never did anything. They didn't even grow this year. Anyway, the big thing I wanted to show you is the potatoes. I'm going to get this one all chopped off and give it a haircut. so that in a couple of weeks I can be digging potatoes. And hopefully I can uh, enlist Marissa's help with that. I think that's uh, the one thing that she likes to do with gardening. So yeah, let me, let me go ahead and give these, uh, these plants a haircut. I'll be right back. I didn't show you the sunflowers. They, they grew really tall but they are not flowering. I have one, one that, sorry about that, one that decided to flower. But those things have to be all of 10 foot tall. Crazy. Never did, never grown them before myself, so I don't know, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I expected them to, uh, to start flowering uh, a long time ago, not wait till September to to put on flowers. They probably just didn't get warm enough for them. But I I don't know. I didn't do any research. I just planted them in the ground. The seeds were uh, when you order online, some places send you extra seeds, and that's what happened here. This is just one of the packets they sent me a few years ago when I ordered and uh, decided this year to put them in the ground. There we go. 
all chopped off. Nice little haircut. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of plants in there, but there are some plants that died off already and others that just kept growing. So, but, you know, I can, I can say that I have at least one little potato here and I can also see that I have a mouse problem. I have an animal getting down in there too, so that's not a good sign. I'll have to be cautious of that and hopefully they didn't get into too my too many of my tubers. But there's a cute little potato. It's a small one, but it's cute. So yeah, and I don't I don't say anything about you know, I, you know, I I know mentioned my health and stuff, and I'm not saying that to to get anybody sympathy or anything like that. I'm just some years God gives you a a good strong year, and other years He says I want you to take a break. And, well, this year God said He wanted me to take a break. Didn't want me going 100 miles an hour in 10 different directions. So that's what it's been. And I'm okay with that. You know, I don't I don't take a break myself on so he he uh, just made sure I took a break this year, that's all. I'll be better next year. It'll all it'll all turn around. It'll be just fine. You know, it does zucchini looks like it would be really good and growing but uh we just didn't get in there i didn't get them cut back and i didn't get enough airflow in there so we had a lot of blossom in my blossom end rot and uh some things you can just let go and other things you have to tend to and i wasn't up to the task to tend to that this year yeah and in fact, one of the things I love doing the most is going to the gun range and collecting brass. And I did that, I believe I did that once this summer. And that's it. So, but I'll take you up here and show you the romaine that we've been picking off of and how, how we go about doing it. So see the, the sunflowers wanna put flowers on but it's just too late this year Kara did say she took one that had broken off and she did say that the chickens loved it so that was a plus they will we'll still get some use out of out of most of these stocks and then the romaine what we do is we just pick leaves off and it just keeps developing more leaves higher up. And so that's, well, until it frosts, we'll have romaine lettuce. Once it frosts, then we'll just give them, give it all to the chickens. Not, no, no lettuce to the bunnies, but to the chickens, that'll be a good, a good treat. They'll love it. And I noticed too, you can see all those yellow flowers there. That is my dill. So talk to Kara about that and see if how we want to go about saving the dill because she wanted dill for her fish this winter. And uh, we planted it for that purpose. Now we just got to save it. So anyway, life is good. Life is, I am so blessed. God has blessed me so much. You know, I'm, I'm not complaining at all. I'm, I'm uh, going to be just fine. Everything is going good. I do need to get that taken apart. And I have a lot of stuff I got to do before, before winter sets in and get things ready. 
Uh, I got to get the oil changed on my tractor. I got some projects I have to get done. Um, I still got to get up on the roofs and clean the chimneys out. So I can't just be lazy all the time. I'm going to push forward and, and get this stuff done because there's, there's some things you can let slide and there's some thing, things that definitely you cannot let slide. So my next month, I have about a month before winter really sets in on us. So my next month will be a busy month. And hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit more for you because like I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm not filming anything. So I'm not putting a whole lot of videos out and I'm sorry about that. That does kind of bug me, but you know, we just, we just got to take it in strides. I'm going to quit yakking and, uh, thank you for watching this edition of Not So Remote Alaska. And until next time, may God bless and keep each and every one of you. And with that, I am out.